Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design business card template in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description. Download it, use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means, hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a PSD file called front, open the file inside Photoshop. This one is our business card front side, file is standard business card size, right from layers panel, guidelines, everything is ready for design, you can straight away start designing it. If you don't see the guidelines, go to view, click show and enable guides, fine. Next we are going to create a solid color background, for that go to color picker, select white color, now go to background folder, create a layer, fill the color by using keyboard shortcut Alt to backspace. Next we are going to bring in our main image. Before that we are going to create an image placeholder. For that go to the image folder, create a layer, go to color picker, select black color. Now enable rectangle tool. Now create a rectangle shape like so by using those guidelines as reference. We are going to use this shape as our image placeholder next go to the folder you downloaded open image one inside photoshop of course you can use your image now drag and drop the image inside our canvas make sure to place the image right above the image placeholder layer now we are going to clip mask the layer right click create clip mask now enable free transform tool ctrl t and resize the image Fine, I'll settle with this one. Now we have a empty space on our right side. We are going to take care of that for the create a layer. Again, clip mask this one. Go to color picker, sample this color, some kind of off white. I'm going to pick the brighter version. Now select brush, select soft round brush, this one. Now reduce the size and give few clicks. You may notice the color doesn't go well with the image. So let's do another trick. Create a layer, again clip mask the layer. Now change the blending mode of the layer to screen. Go to color picker, select color FF2A00. Again go enable the brush tool. I'll go with the same soft round brush. Now increase the size. Place it somewhere here like this and give a click. By doing so, we'll get a, some kind of cool glow effect. So now our images looks good. Next, we are going to bring in our logo and text. For that, select the design folder. Now go to the folder you downloaded. Open logo. PSD file instead Photoshop. This one is the mock-up logo. Obviously, you can use your logo. I'll drag and drop the file inside your canvas. I'll place the logo somewhere here. Next, I'm going to add the studio name. For that, go to design folder, create a layer, go to color picker, select black color. The font I'm using is a free font. I'll give a link in the description. You can download it if you want. I'm going with size 11 and type in your company name now create a duplicate copy ctrl J I'll reduce the size a little bit down to 8 points so our business card front side is ready let's move to the back side design again go to the folder you downloaded open the back PSD inside Photoshop as I said before, this one is also a design ready file. You can straight away start designing it. Let's start creating by a solid color background. Go to color picker, select white color, background folder, create a layer, fill the color, shortcut Alt backspace. We are going to bring in three images inside our canvas. Before that, we are going to create three image placeholders. For that, go to the 
image group create a layer name it as one go to color picker select black color go to shapes tool and pick rectangle tool now give a click now create a rectangle shape which reads 276 by 525 now place it somewhere here now we are going to create a, another shape new layer name it as 2 select rectangle tool give a click now create a shape which reads 294 by 258 now place it somewhere here on right side now create a duplicate copy ctrl j don't forget to name the layer i'll name this as 3 now adjust the spacings by using your keyboard arrow keys fine i'll settle with this one next we are going to bring in our images go to the folder you downloaded open image to inside photoshop drag and drop the image inside of canvas now place this one right above the first layer one image placeholder right click clip mask the image by enabling free transform tool resize the image now we are going to repeat the very same step for the other two image placeholder layers go to folder open image 3 drag and drop now clip mask the layer enable free transform tool resize it again another image drag and drop it inside of a canvas make sure to place it right above third image placeholder layer right click clip mask now enable free transform tool and resize the image fine now we are done with the image part next we are going to add our name and contact information for that go to the text folder create a layer go to color picker select black color i'm going to use the very same font here i'm going to increase the size to somewhat around 12 points now type in your name is it here using this text layer as a reference i'm going to create a guideline fine next create a duplicate copy ctrl j reduce the size down to seven points add your designation next we're going to add our contact information before that we're going to bring in icons for that go to the folder you downloaded open the icons psd file inside photoshop now drag and drop the icons folder inside our canvas make sure to place it right above our text folder i'll bring down the icons and place it somewhere here now add your contact information for that go to text folder create a layer enable text tool i'll reduce the size down to six points now add your contact information So our business card is finally ready. All you got to do is now export the file as JPEG or PDF and get it printed. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care.